Hello, so this is Mohammed from PyCAD and welcome to a new video. So as you remember, the, in the last video, we trained uh, a NN unit model of the spine, so how to segment the spine using NN unit. And in this video, I will show you how you can integrate or deploy your NN unit model. We cannot say deploy, but at least we can say how you can use your NN unit model in 3D Slicer, when you can use your NN unit model to predict a first mask of any anatomical structure you are trying to segment, then you can use the all, like all the tools that are available in the slicer to like either uh, modifying the segmentation or if you see that the model is already uh, segmenting your organ or your anatomical structure perfectly, then you don't need even to uh, modify it, but at least you can visualize it or something like this. So yeah, let's do this in this video. All right. So the first thing that you need to do is to install 3D slicer, slicer if you don't already have it or if you have a version that is less than 5.7. So for now, like in the time that I'm recording this video, the latest version that is available in the stable release, which is 5.6.2. But this version will not work because it doesn't contain the, the because to like to be able to use the NN unit, there is an, an extension in uh, 3D Slicer that is called NN Unit Slicer. So you need, you need to use that extension exactly. So if you don't already have uh, you have the uh, the 5.7 or more, then you cannot use the, the NN Unit extension because it's not available before this version. And in the time I am recording the video, the 5.7 is in the uh, preview uh, version. It is not the uh, stable release but it's it already works so i already tried it and it works for the for the nn unit so maybe in the future if you uh, if this version is stable you may find it here like 5.7 or more then it should work but if you are already using something like 5.6 or 5.7 or something sorry 5.5 or 5.2 or something you cannot expect that it will work because you cannot find the extension that we will use okay so <coughs> sorry so after installing this version, just need to download it and install it. After installing it, you can open the, the 3D slicer. I am just opening it here. By the way, if you are a medical imaging student or practitioner and you are looking for someone to help you to uh, create your deep learning models for medical imaging analysis and this type of applications also, you can always contact us. We do consulting for this uh, for the field and we can help you build your deep learning models and customized uh, architectures, customize uh, this type of application for your purpose. So don't hesitate to contact us at contacts at pica.co and you can also see some of our works at pica.co slash portfolio. Okay, so you need to see the version here 5.7 or more. So if you see that it is showing 5.5 or something, then you need to, to check what, is, what you are opening because if you, you do have multiple versions installed in your PC, then you will find all of them because for example if i search for slicer you will see that i have several versions i have the 5.0 i have the 5.6 and then i have the 5.7 which is the preview one so if you do have several versions in your pc then you need to make sure that you are opening the 5.7 okay and you will see it here whenever you open it you will see the version here beside the the title okay whenever you have this what what you need to do the first thing that you need to do is to find the extension so you need to go to the, uh, the extension manager, which is this one here. You click on this button. Okay. For me, I have it already here. But if you don't, you will go to install. Uh, sorry. No. Install uh, extensions. And here in the search button, you need to search for NN unit. Okay. So this is the extension that you will need. For me, I have it already installed. I will not need to reinstall it again. But for you, if you are new, then you should have this as... Uh, like as a new uh, extension and you need just to click on install and then restart and the, the extension will be installed okay whenever it is done it, and whenever it is installed you just need to go to uh to the manage like to the extensions that are already installed so what you need to, where you will find it you need to go to segmentation here and you will find the nn unit uh, extension so it is in the segmentation uh, group or something like this so when you go in segmentation you have an unit extension you click on it so this is how it looks so it is very easy to use like 
this is the best extension to to be used for NN units. Actually, it is the only one. But I'm saying like sometimes when you find some extensions or some tools that are not uh, easy to use. So even the extension here is easy to use than the NN unit itself. So yeah, I, I found it very uh, practical and thanks to the Kitwar team that because they they built this extension and they made it for free and open source. So thanks to them for this extension that will help us to use our models. And yeah, <coughs> sorry. Let's go to the inst like an unit install. For me, I have it already installed. But whenever you come to this stage, you should install bec because this will will like you will do this only once, only one time, the first time that you will uh, open the extension. But after that, you don't need to do it. Only if you want to, uh, for example, if you want to upgrade if there is new versions or something. But if it is already working, then you don't need to care about it at the beginning. But yeah, you just need to go to the an unit install. Click on the install button and it will install everything. It will install PyTorch and it will install an unit and all the dependencies needed to run the, run the inference on your model, okay? And then after that, you need to go to the settings and configure some things here. But before going to that, I will just show you the structure of the folder that you need to respect to use the an unit. Actually, there is nothing new. You just need to keep the same structure that you had when you used an unit like either for training or for the inference. So for them, you should always have something like this, the name of the data set. I just put this as 100. They don't care about the name. You just need to have these two uh, items in the file name, which is data set and then an index. So even if, for example, you train the model and the index was, let's say 200, if you put this 100, there is no issue, but you just need to have an integer here, okay? Don't care about the integer that you will put, just put it, otherwise it will not work because the uh, extension is made to search for the exact structure that has been used by an unit. So you should have this data set 100. For example, I am putting 100, you can put anything you want. Then you go inside, you should find something like this, which is an unit trainer, an unit plans, and then, for example, for me, it is 3D full res. If you have something else, you can you can already have it, but they don't even care about what you are using here. It is just about how they will find your, um, they will find the dataset.json, the plan.json, and how to find the weights. But apart from that, they don't even care about if you are using 3D full res, 2D full res, or something like this. All the, in the important information are in the, uh, the plan.json. So they don't care about this. This, this just are namings, but you need to respect them. Either the, the 3D full res, 2D full res, like the names that are used by LN units. Okay. And then whenever you go inside, you should have this structure where you have the plans.json and dataset.json. Then you have the fold. So as I said, they don't even care. So if you put fold zero, fold one, fold two, they don't care at all. So you just need to put something here so that the extension will recognize where is the folder that contains this information, okay? So just put fold zero, one, two, on, or four, which are the five folds available in any unit. Then you should have the, the, the files here, which are the checkpoints best or final. And also these, you can name them anything you want. I will show you where you can change it. And then you should, like these, we don't care. I am just putting them like this. But you, the most important thing, which are the weights and the uh, dataset.json and the plans.json. Okay. Whenever you have this, uh, let me just go back. Whenever you have this structure, you just need to go to the extension in 3D Slicer. You need to sorry, bros, you need to pick this directory. You don't need to click on the dataset.json. You need to stop before because the extension itself will search for dataset, then an index, and then we'll go inside and find everything. You just need to point to this exact folder, but don't click on this. You need to stop here, like before, which for example, it is configs for me. So I am stopping here. I will open the configs folder. Then you select it. And then here you need to choose the, the path where you want, like this is the the the, uh, the name of the, the, the weight that you want to use. So you can use the final, you can use the best, you can, if for example, you have already renamed the weights uh, file, then you can put the name of the, the, the new weights. So they don't ever care about this, it is final, best or something like this. They just need to find the that .pth uh, file. So you just, puts the, the, the file, the, like the file name that you are giving to your weight. And then that's it. And then here you select the fold. So as I said, they don't care about this. 
Okay, they don't care about this, but you need to respect it. If you put zero here, then you need to put to put false zero. If it is one, you need to put one, etc., etc. But apart from that, they don't care. They just try use it to find the 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 weights. Okay. So for me, I didn't experiment with these for the moment. If you want, you can experiment, but without touching like neither this or this or even the CUDA. If you don't have CUDA, you can use CPU. But yeah, I didn't touch those. But and also the step size also I didn't touch it. But if you feel that you want to to do more things and experimenting more in the NNU net extension, yes, of course you can experiment. You can leave in the comments if you find anything interesting that will uh, help uh, use the models. But yeah, this is what I can say: how to set up your NNU net uh, environment. Now what you can do, you just need to open the file which is a volume. So let me just open, for example, this scan. This is one of the scans that we use for validation in our training. So this is the scan. And as you can see, the extension, it will automatically uh, detect it. But if you are opening multiple volumes, then you need to select which volume you want to use for inference. And then, yes, whenever you complete this, you just need to apply, which means you will run the inference. So let's run it here. And as you can see, you see the logs here that will start the, the inference. And it will be the same logs that you can see in your terminal when you are using an unit. So the same thing, and it will run the uh, the inference progress bar here. Let's just wait for a few seconds. Okay, so now we have the progress bar. It will start. It will not take a long time because even the model that I'm using is not something that is uh, uh, that is big. So it, it is not taking a long time to give the whole uh, output. So as you can see now. It should be done. So it is doing some kind of post processing just to combine the the volumes. Okay, done. And this is the output that you you wanted. It will be shown automatically after completing the inference. Now, as I said, you uh, you see the output, but let's say you are not happy with any part or any kind of these of the outputs, and you want to let's say correct it or something like this, or you just need to visualize it. What you can do, you need to go to the segmentation tab, okay? Which is by default, this is installed in uh, 3D Slicer. So you just need to go here and you will find all your segments that has been predicted by your model. So all of them are here, as you can see. And then what you can do, you just need to go to, uh, if you want, for example, to show 3D, you click on show 3D and it will be shown, okay? This is the 3D output of the model. Let's say you want to edit it, you just need to go to the editor which is this button here, you go to the editor and correct whatever you want. And whenever you are happy with the output, you go to the export file and then choose like the same thing that we do with 3D Slicer. So you just need to choose the directory, the, the reference volume, the file, let's say for example, Nifty, and then you export it. So as you can see, it is very easy to do. The first thing that you need to do is to uh, install the NN unit, run the model, you get the first output and then you play with it and then you export it. How, how good is that? So you can imagine how like whenever you train a new NN unit model and you want to do use it for inference or model led or something like this, you just need to deploy it or integrate it here and use it. So yeah, this was the, the subject of this video. I hope that this may uh, help any one of you. If you find it interesting, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to the, to the channel so that you can see more and new videos from our work. And yeah, see you in next video. Bye-bye.